Welcome to Madison and Camp Randall Stadium. Always rowdy, always ready to support the Badgers. They've been getting ready for this game since the early morning. And wow, do we have a fun one here ahead. A top 10 team walking into the snake pit of an environment just trying to get out alive. This will be fun as we'll see the number six team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide, taking on a team from the Big Ten, the Wisconsin Badgers. Three A Sports College Football. I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. And the Badgers will kick it away to start us off. Fields it just outside the goal line. Coverage team brings down the returner. So Alabama's offense in less than ideal position off that poor return. And there's the star running back jogging out of the field. He is trying to add to his huge highlight reel, Kirk. Chris, honestly, I don't think we've seen too many running backs who can duplicate what this guy can do on the field. He's got everything, vision, speed, power. He can diagnose a defense in real time. They're really excited to see this kid play. That's exactly how you want to defend the option. You know, old school way is assignment football. You have to an account for the quarterback, the pitch man. Here, the quarterback had really nothing other than just kind of lower his head and get as much as he could. Fortunately for the defense, it wasn't very much. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. The pickup is just three yards. Now it's third down and seven. It's early, but this crowd is fired up. Listen to this noise here. This is going to be tough for the visitors today. Quick throw to his receiver. The ball is picked off. And he's got some open field ahead. And he's wrapped up after a solid return. Boy, this is why I love this defense so much. So opportunistic. We've seen it all year, and now we see it right here. Big interception. They set their offense up in great field position here on their first possession. Offense starts with excellent field position. It's a shotgun run call. Only a small game. Now looking at second and nine. It's a quarterback keeper. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Uh, not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. They didn't lose any yards, which is great. I think they're definitely looking for more from that play. Offense thinking touchdown, not field goal, facing a third and long from the 20-yard line. To throw, it's Van Dyke. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Whoa, you talk about a big hit there. I think this guy holds on to this football at a critical third down if this linebacker doesn't lower the blow. Great timing on that hit to prevent the P.I. call and to get this team to fourth down. And out comes the field goal unit. This will be a 37-yard attempt. The field goal is good. So we have our first points on the board. That makes it 3-0. I was watching this guy in pregame. He's got a strong leg. I'm surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. So no return here. He takes a knee in the end zone, and they'll begin the drive at the 25. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. This offense trying to bounce back the last possession and then in a pick. They'll tackle him right at the 31. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here, and he's a good back. 
I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. The game makes it second and medium. And now the running back's got it again. Breaks loose at the 45. They finally get him down. It's a big game. Ball moves to the 47. There's nothing more that helps an offense than committing to that running game and popping an explosive run like this on the ground. Keeps the confidence of your offensive lineup. Same with your back. It helps everything else that you're doing as an offense in your rhythm. Now you can come back with some counters, try to take some shots off of play action, and keep hammering away with that run game. He gains nine, so it's second and one. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice gain like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave him a chance at a really nice game. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Change of pace now looking to throw the football. It's a quick grab. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. That's what makes this tight end so dangerous. You can flex him out into that slot position. He shows you his versatility. He can be an inline guy that can block, but here he shows you what he can do with his hands. This Alabama offense is moving quickly down the field. First down, looking to throw the football. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. A great call by the defensive coordinator bringing the linebacker from Wisconsin on the blitz, and he gets home for the sack. And boy, they have had as many linebackers over the years as maybe anybody in college football with the ability to rush the quarterback and come up with big sacks like this. The sack on first down, it's second down. And the back gets the football. And that run produces a decent gain. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Looking downfield, it's Milrow. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. Boy, this is all about the defense here. Nice stop here on third down, but really it's about trying to get this offense behind the sticks. Once you get them behind the sticks, you can mix up your coverages, really affect the quarterback's eyes and disrupt the timing and the rhythm of what the offense is trying to do. Now we've got another big fourth down coming up. And he's made it from 50 yards out, showing off the deep range. Boy, this guy has such a strong leg. No problem. Up into the net from 50-plus. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. Return starts from inside the five. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And the Wisconsin offense is back out on the field. Last possession produced a field goal. No doubt they're thinking touchdown this time. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Well, that was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. Looking for a gap, it's Malusi. They'll tackle him right at the 25-yard line. It's not a huge gain here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. A tough situation for the offense. Third and long from their 25. Let's see if the defense brings some heat here. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. 
to screen pass complete to the running back. And they'll bring him down. The defense fought through the blocks, and they stop him short of the first down. The offense gets some positive yards here, but they're going to be short of the first down marker to set up fourth down. Really good job by the defense of tackling and the awareness to keep him short of that first down marker. And the Badgers will send their punt team out of the field. And the returner brought down by the coverage team now. So here comes the Alabama offense back out of the field. The last drive produced three points thanks to an excellent long-range field goal. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Second down after that run on the previous play. Dropping back. It's Milrow. It's an out route. The catch made. They finally make the tackle, but the big game moves the ball across midfield to the 47. You know, Chris, if we would have told Bear Bryant that Alabama would have a wide receiver that won a Heisman in recent years, I don't think he would have believed us. But that's where we are. They've been some great ones in the past. We're seeing some great-looking receivers on this unit right now. They're going to run it. They get him down, but the game moves the ball to the 37. Chris, I don't know. There's just something about that Bama uniform. When they run the football, it just feels right. It's a combination of having those big offensive linemen, a really physical approach at the line of scrimmage, and backs that are able to pick up first downs like that right there. Beautiful play. First down, looking to throw the ball. Receiver makes the grab and uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. That's an excellent throw by the quarterback, finding that window between the zones and delivering the ball on time. Alabama getting set for the first and 10 now. Handoff from the shotgun. Powering through. Did well to avoid a loss there, but it's no gain on the play. Chris, you know me. I love to see defensive backs, and especially corners, that are willing to come up and get physical against the run game. What a job of making that play in space. No gain because of the play of that corner. Second down play coming up for this offense. They'll ride the back again here. And they stop him at the four after an excellent run. Well, just a great play by the running back here. Just finding his lanes and exploding through the gap when it opened up. Alabama's offense now lining up on first and goal. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Defense makes the tackle with the clock running. That'll probably be the final play of this first quarter. So after a competitive, fun first quarter, we are all even. Let's check out some of the stats from that first period. And after a promising start, we hope that both these teams will just continue with more of this action. Backed up to the five-yard line now for second and goal. And off inside, looking for the touchdown. He powers into the end zone. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Boy, as a defensive coordinator, you've got to be careful being so worried about this pass game and this quarterback that you're a little bit soft up front, and it costs you. It's exactly what happened here as they score this touchdown. And they'll set up with the PAT. PAT makes it a seven-point lead.
Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Fielded in the end zone. It's Henry. And he stopped at the 18. Returner trying to make a play, but a touchback would have been a better idea. And here comes the Badgers offense back out on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? Second down after that run on the previous play. Back to pass. It's Van Dyke. Tries the right with a quick throw. He pulls it in for a big game. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. Linebackers trying to confuse this offense now. The Badgers come to the line in the hurry up. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. The gain is three. Now it's second down and seven. Well, another short game for this offense on the ground. And you've got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change... I don't know how they get back into this game. They're going to run it. Mack gets the carry. Stopped short of the marker after just a short game. It's third down for the offense. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Malusi. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. On the run, it's Malusi. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Tell you, this defense continues to just be physical at the line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground, and by doing that, this defense is allowing their defensive front to get pressure on the quarterback. Every time they drop back to throw, they become a one-dimensional offense. They'll run it here. They bring him down. That's a very solid game, but still well short of the first down. When you can get good chunks of yardage like this on early downs, it just keeps you on schedule, leading to more manageable third down situations. Never underestimate the value of consistently getting four more yards a pop like that. Crucial third down play coming up. Looking to throw. It's Van Dyke. Can't hold on. Good defensive play. Brings up a fourth down. Now that's an incompletion. That'll bring up fourth down and makes you wonder if the offensive coordinator is reevaluating. Maybe a run there might have been the safer call. So they'll settle for a field goal attempt here. This will be about a 53-yard attempt. Let's see if he can get it there. Long enough and good. Boy, this guy had plenty of leg here, too. Chris, you remember the days when a kick from 50-plus was a major accomplishment? Now these guys knock these out like they're almost automatic. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. He'll return it from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. They punched it in the last possession. Can they do it again, or will this defense make some adjustments to get a stop? And they'll tackle him about the 23-yard line.
second down after that run on the previous play. Keeping it on the ground here. Solid run. They'll bring it down to the 28-yard line. So from the 28-yard line, it's a third and manageable here. Grab behind the line. It's Miller. They've got him, but not before making first down yards. They'll move the ball to the 41. You know, third down, the key to me is the offensive line, the pass protection, because you know that you're going to throw, and the defense knows that you're going to throw. It's a matter of can you protect your quarterback and give him the time, and then can the receivers win on the outside? They're able to do that, move those sticks. It's a first down. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. The defense made a good play there, but needs to string along more stops like that against this running back if they want to be able to win this game. The run game has looked good in the first half, but maybe that won't be the case from now on. Offense getting set. It's second down. Trying to find some room. It's Haynes. Picks up a short game, but his swarm of the defense flying to the football. Now the offense facing a third and long from their own 41. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. And he's brought down. Offense going backwards with the sack. This is good pressure by the defense, but it just felt like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a little bit too long, which allowed the defense to get home. And the punt team now on to kick it away. And the coverage team pins him in and brings him down. And the Wisconsin offense back out on the field. They were fortunate to get points on the last possession because of a long-range field goal. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Things just appeared to be a bit out of sync from the get-go on that one. Give credit to the front seven of that defense for staying in the proper lanes and getting to the ball carrier, not let him dance around and make something out of nothing. After the loss on first down, it's second and long from the 22. Scanning the field, it's Van Dyke. Quarterback looks to his right and finds his man. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. So a very makeable third down for the offense from the 29. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Fired into a tight window and picked off. Not much on the return, but that's an important takeaway. Sets up the offense at the 34. Really nice job of mixing up the looks here by this defense. Sometimes man, sometimes zone. They fool the quarterback here completely, and he throws the pick. First down here, the offense has time for one more play before the two-minute warning. QB decides to keep it here. Been a decent gain there before the defense brings him down. The game makes it second and medium. And he drops back in the gun. Grab down the middle. It's Prentice. Receiver brought down after a short pitch and catch.
Now it's third and short in the 24. One of those line of scrimmage battles that could help decide this game. Caught over the middle. It's Prentice. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. Most defensive coordinators focus a lot of their energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. They give up a couple more third down conversions like that, and they're in for a very unpleasant film session on Monday. Dropping back, it's Milrow. He's moving out of the pocket. He'll avoid the big hit with the slide. The offense will take their first time out of the half to talk strategy here. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Makes the catch. Can he get in? Brought down at the three-yard line, but this offense now has a first down and goal right there. Good job of reading the blitz here by the quarterback. And it doesn't matter where it's coming from. The tight end knows that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an outlet. Anytime you see that kind of pressure, those extra bodies are starting to come after the quarterback. The quarterback's going to turn and get the ball out of his hands quick. And he's got it. Touchdown, Alabama. Well, that's a thing of beauty right there. Good job all around. Offensive line gave the quarterback enough time. Quarterback puts it right on the money. And with this receiver running a route like this, makes it pretty simple. All he had to do was get his head turned around, catch that football. He's already in the end zone for the touchdown. And they'll set up for the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. So after the touchdown, here's the kickoff. And we'll see if the opposing offense has time to answer before halftime. Bringing it out, it's Henry. And he's brought down at the 16. Would have been better off leaving it in the end zone for a touchback. And the Wisconsin offense is back out on the field. You'd expect a prudent decision here. Backed up near their own end zone. Just run the clock out and get to halftime. He's tackled short of the 30, but that's good enough for a first down. Well, you wonder if the receiver adjusted his route to get closer to that first down line. Whatever he did, it works. Move the sticks. Time running down. Just one play left here in the half. On first and ten, looking to throw. Catch made on the out route. And he's brought down after a big first down game. It's second and short. Maybe an opportunity, Kirk, to take a shot here. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Thanks, guys. Looks like we've got a terrific atmosphere there in Madison. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And on that note, time to throw it back to our guys at the stadium. Alabama will kick it off to start the second half. So it'll be a touchback. Ball spotted at the 25. And here comes the Badgers offense back out on the field. First play of the second half is a handoff. And the Badgers come to the line looking to crank up the tempo. Action fake, looking to throw. And he lofts it toward the left sideline. That deep shot is caught for a big game. 
They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Well, it's really a pretty simple thing here by this quarterback. He sees press man on the outside, so he sends his receiver on a go route, and he hits him in perfect stride for a nice game downfield. And to be honest, Chris, this is a matchup I'm sure he's going to be looking for as often as he can today. Back to throw. It's Van Dyke. Defense is coming after him. And he can't escape. It's a sack for the defense. I like how this defense is bringing pressure from all over the field. And that's the key in putting together a good defensive strategy. On this play, it came from the outside linebacker, and he gets to the quarterback. The offensive line will have to regroup after the sack. It's second and 13. Here comes a handoff. Not much on that play. Brought down short. Third down. The offense desperately needs a conversion here, trailing in the third quarter. Dropping back. He's going to throw for the first down. Got him. He's sacked. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying a lead. And the Badgers will send the punt team onto the field. Looking to kick it away for the second time. And that will bounce and roll out of bounds, so no return. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. Picks up three yards, so second and seven. Takes the handoff, looking to throw. Looking for the wide out. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. The game is enough to move the sticks. Ball at the 40. You know, plays like this are what Alabama offense is all about. They run the football, and then they're efficient within their passing game. Think about it. They won a couple national championships with Greg McElroy and A.J. McCarron by just being efficient and playing smart at the position and being a great complement to that running game in the defense. Off the play fake on first down. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. Whiteout's now clustered. Back to throw. It's Milrow. There's a screen pass to the running back. And he heads out of bounds after gaining a few yards. Now the defense is getting pressure on the quarterback. They got a little bit fooled here by the screen play. Nice positive game for the offense. Offense moving closer to the line to gain after that catch. Looking to chuck it again. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here, third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes is just hand the ball off to your running back and have him get behind that offensive line and go to work. Curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. Punt lands at the six but heads into the end zone for a touchback. And the Wisconsin offense back out on the field. They were forced to punt it away last time, so let's see if they can get clicking in this possession. Caught in the backfield. It's Pauling. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. 
How about this defense? That is called team pursuit. Swarming to this wide receiver on the screen, not allowing him to get his momentum upfield. Here's the second down play. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. And the senior quarterback, lucky he didn't get picked off, almost made a freshman mistake. That defensive back played that route so well. Right on the receiver's hip, he saw the ball and just swatted it away. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Creative running there. Tackle made after a solid game. They'll spot the ball at the 34. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. And the Badgers line up on first and ten now. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure a defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take a lead in this game at some point. Dropping back, it's Van Dyke. Snags the quick throw. Tackled quickly after the catch, he'll be short of the marker. Urgency now for the offense that hate to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. And he'll drop back here on third down. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Big play across midfield. They'll spot it near the 36. Well, that's a great job of working the middle of the field by this quarterback, and he picks up big yards. The Badgers looking to run some tempo here. Looking to throw it on first down. Finds a man downfield. That's a big game to the right. They stop him at the 23. This offense is getting close to the red zone. The quarterback was selling that he was going to throw the ball downfield, and I think the defense fell for it. Instead, he goes to the curl route. I think it really caught this defense off guard. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Takes the handoff. It's Malusi. It's a one-yard gain. Second and nine coming up. And now this is the eighth play on this drive. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Looking for his big tight end. And it's complete downfield. Tackled quickly at the 10, but now the offense really threatening to score. Well, this is why running the football is so important. You run the ball and then you go play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. And the Badgers are going to cash in here in the red zone. Looking to throw. It's Van Dyke. Slides down to avoid the tackle. Well, I thought the defense had him here, Chris. He should be down in the backfield, but instead, he gets out of the pressure and actually picks up some positive yards. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Handoff here from the shotgun. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, I don't think the offensive line gave the back much of a chance at all. Now, give credit to the defense. It was almost like they were anticipating a run and got up close to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. On third down, he drops to throw. He's got it near the end zone. And he scores! Touchdown, Wisconsin. 
That's a crucial score. Let's see if they can build momentum and complete this comeback. Well, I know they're still trailing, but that score is a great first step in trying to break down this lead. You don't want to leave it all to the fourth quarter when the pressure really intensifies and you have limited time. Offense still out there, down by five. They're going to go for the two-point conversion and make this a three-point game. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. He's going to try for a return from a couple of yards deep in the end zone. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. They were forced to punt it last time. Now they're looking to respond and add to this lead. They start the drive with a quick throw to the right. Hey, they get some positive yards here. But just from sitting up here looking down, Chris, you kind of have a sense that they wanted a little bit more on that play. Offense coming to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before we reach the end of the quarter. Here's a quick throw off the play fake. Breaking free at the 35. Goes out of bounds, but a huge pickup on the play to wrap up the third quarter. So Alabama will take the lead into the quarter break here. We've reached the end of the third. Time is running out to cut into this lead. Let's check out the game stats before we go on. We're set now for the fourth quarter. Who is going to make the crucial plays to take home this W? Quick juke. They bring him down, but the game moves the ball into enemy territory at the 43. Alabama getting set for the first and 10 coming up. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. A gain of two yards. Now it's second down and eight. To the air. It's Milrow. Looking to set up a screen pass here. They've got him, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. Defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch and gets the first down in the process. First and ten play coming up. Gonna run it. It's Haynes. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. What a game for this offense at the line of scrimmage. They've been able to enjoy really the tempo going their way because they've been able to run the football. This guy now has 98 yards rushing. A couple more, and he'll be in triple digits. What a great day for him. The offense with five receivers now, empty backfield. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Short pass, finds the tight end. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal yardage to the nine. Well, that's the thing with this guy. You've got the ability to flex him out. He shows his versatility and what he can do from that slot position. He could be the quarterback safety blanket. So it's first and goal. The offense will try to milk the clock and add points if they can. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Run it up the middle, but stuff for no gain. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. Offense facing second and goal. Here's the handoff testing the middle. 
Valkyria brought down at the four. Offense in great scoring position here. Well, I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half. And he's already at it again. Urgency here in the fourth quarter. They must cut into this lead. It's third down and goal. Looking to pass. It's Milrow. He's running out of time here. Incomplete. He was hit as he threw the ball. That's a big third down defensive play. Interesting call here, Chris, to throw the ball on third and short. Unable to come up with a first down. Now here at fourth down, you got a big decision to make. Do you kick the field goal just to add to the lead? Or maybe go for this here with a chance to drop the hammer? So on fourth down, here comes a crucial field goal attempt. And the kick is good. Offense settles for three on the drive. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. And it's fielded. Returner trying to make something happen. And the returner will be brought down. And the Wisconsin offense is back out on the field. Let's see if he can keep that passing game going. The last position, very efficient and precise. They bring him down right at the 20. Second down here. Hands it off on the counter. Bites off a defender. Tough running to avoid a loss that just barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. Chris, overall, it's been a tough day for this offense, but especially for this running back, just not able to find any kind of traction at all. And it's made this offense somewhat one-dimensional and a large reason they're trailing in the fourth quarter. Interesting play call here. Third and short inside their own 20. They want to get this drive going, or a punt could give the opponents excellent field position. It's a risky pass. He gets away with it. Almost the second interception for this defense today. Oh, the quarterback and receiver just not quite on the same page. But the good news is it's fourth down and short. And trailing in this game, you've got to convert here to keep your hopes alive. And the Badgers will bring their punt team onto the field. The coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. So here comes the Alabama offense back out of the field. Crucial possession. This game just got tighter. They love to play keep away. Chew on the clock. How will they call it here? And he's brought down out at the 46. Second down after that run on the previous play. Scanning the field. It's Milrow. And he just throws it away there. Safe move. Had nobody open. After the incompletion, they'll face a third and six. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. And he's got his man open downfield. An explosive play. They finally grab him, but the ball moves inside the 25. Well, I'd love to see this late in a game like this with the lead. Get aggressive. Go for it here on third down through the air. Quarterback delivers to his receiver. Comes down with a nice completion in her first down, and they keep that clock moving. Alabama comes up to the line quickly. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Hit as he released it. Looks over the middle, and that's complete. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. 
How about this guy making this throw? I mean, they have harassed him all game long, and here we are in the fourth quarter. He takes another hit, and this time gets enough on it to be able to complete it. Great play by the quarterback. This Alabama offense is moving quickly down the field. He's got it right near the end zone. And a nice first down game there. They get him down, but very close to the first down marker. Chris, it just feels like the offense is almost teasing the defense with this play. As an offensive coordinator quarterback, you're often looking for that soft spot in the zone. And here, they do a nice job of finding that hole for a nice game. That's a design quarterback keeper. And he gets to the end zone. Touchdown, tie. Quarterback flashing the speed on that touchdown run. That's almost unfair, Kirk. Well, I think out of all the quarterbacks in the entire country, this guy might be as fast as any of them. Why not utilize his speed when he can make defenses pay for it? It's a great design play and a nice touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. An extra point makes the lead 15 here in the final quarter. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And here comes the Badgers offense back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Running out of time in the pocket. Sacked. It's a loss back to the six. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. Second down and long now from their own six. Dropping back, it's Van Dyke. Quick throw, testing the middle. That one falls incomplete, looking for a flag, doesn't get it, brings up third down. Empty set now, five wide receivers. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. But they don't connect. It's incomplete, and it brings up fourth down. Well, that's not what you want to see as an offense when you're trailing late in a football game. An incompletion on third down and long. Hey, it's a bit of a risk, but with that clock looking the way it looks right now, I think you've got to go for it here and hope to convert on fourth and long. Down late, they'll keep the offense on the field, trying to chip away at this lead. Throws it to the right. Finds his man, has the first down. Tackle made quickly, but a big chunk play for this offense through the air. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve as much clock as possible. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. Important second down play coming up. Looking to throw again. And this pass is on target. Caught. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain. More than enough to pick up a first down. Well, this offense has a long way to be able to get back and potentially win this game. But they're doing the right things. Managing the clock. Picking up good yards. And getting out of bounds. And the Badgers come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. And now in the final couple minutes, here's a deep shot. Deep shot caught out of the 15. Man, the defense seems to be all about loading up to stop the run. They're creating some one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and the quarterback and receiver make them pay for it in a great play. The clock is still running. they got to get set quickly.
from inside the red zone. They're looking to throw. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. And he's back to throw again after that incompletion on first down. Touchdown, Badgers. This quarterback on fire today. Chris, they're not quite out of this game just yet. With under two minutes to go, they're down by nine. I'd kick the extra point here, make it a one-possession game, and then try to recover that onside kick, and you got a real shot. Now the important point after attempt. PAT up and good to get a little bit closer. I believe they're going to line up here and go for the onside kick. And the hand seam able to recover the football. The defense with more pre-snap movement. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. Can they play keep away here? Just protect this lead in the final two minutes. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Well, anytime an offensive coordinator calls a wide receiver screen, he's trying to get offensive linemen out in front of the receiver to create a wall so that receiver can pick a lane to run through. How about the defense here, though? That's called team pursuit and swarming to the football. They didn't give him any lanes, so not much yards downfield for the receiver. But this one is tucked away. Time for victory formation. Ball is snapped, and the quarterback will just take a knee. So on fourth down, out trots the place kicker in a very big spot here. And he's got it from 55 yards away and never in doubt. After the pressure field goal, they'll kick it away. The offense has a lot of work to do and not much time to do it. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Looking downfield, it's Van Dyke. Couldn't find anybody open and just has to throw it away. Chris, on this play, he has nobody open. It's better than taking a sack. He doesn't get intentional grounding because where he threw it, there was an intended receiver. I think there's no harm, no foul here. Incomplete, so it's second down and 10. Quarterback drops back. The pocket breaking down. Oh, they've got him there. The defense gets to him. Never had much of a chance, and that is the final play. 